The largest fish and chips with the chef Ali. Seriously, I'm so excited. Look at this one. Seriously, amazing fish and chips. English traditional fish and chips. Let's go and try English fish and chips. We are in the Ashton. This building they call Ashton Indoor Market. Inside of this market, seriously, there is a lot of nice food, and you can buy fresh vegetable and then fresh fish and a lot of nice uh, delicious meat we are going to buy a uh, largest uh, fish and then we are going to take it to the our friend shop to make a nice uh, delicious and authentic english traditional fish and chips let's go in i remember vitra and on this side you can buy fresh eggs seriously there is a small shop they sell beautiful eggs and in, in this side, we have a fresh fish, seafood, everything you can have in here. Wow, amazing. Look at this all fresh fish and the crabs. Oh, they all look so nice, so good. And this is the largest uh, cod tail he has. We are going to have uh, this one. This is the largest uh, cod you have, yeah? At the moment, yeah, I mean, I've got some yeah. like that, but there's no skin on them. Okay, no problem. I think that will be better. Yeah. yeah, and then you order and he will take it off his skin. Well, we just got our um, codfish and he's going to tell us why people they are using the codfish for fish and chips. Basically, it's a traditional fish for fish and chips, especially in this area. If you go over to, say, somewhere like Yorkshire, it's all haddock. Oh, okay. that's amazing. Mm. Thank you. Okay, mate, no problem. And then now we know why people they're using the codfish. Let's go and try some authentic English fish and chips. Here we are in Fallowfield in Manchester in front of the, they call the battered cod. We have a, our codfish and we are going to have a nice and delicious uh, traditional English fish and chips. This shop is one of the oldest fish and chips in Fallowfield, Manchester. We have got our codfish in market in Ashton. Let's go in and try the best English traditional fish and chips. Ali, how are you? You okay? Hello, I am good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, well, you, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just back from Ashton indoor market and have got the uh, largest uh, codfish in the market look at right. look at this one okay it's amazing it's a beautiful fish market be was fish. there uh, yeah i got okay. it the, this is the, the largest uh, this was the, the largest uh, cod in the market we got it and uh, i want to have a nice delicious authentic uh, traditional english fish and chips can you cook for us yeah of course come with me okay here we are, Ali is going to cook our fish and chips and I'm so excited because we are going to eat one of the best traditional English fish and chips in Fallowfield in Manchester. This is the one of the oldest fish and chips in Fallowfield in Manchester. You can come in these pictures. I think this belongs to the 1950s. It's so old the fish and chips. Now is the time to go in the kitchen and prepare our fish and chips. Just before we go in the kitchen, if this video gave you value, give us thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. First, we're gonna start with the chips. So that is to take uh, 10 to 15 minutes to cook. Uh, okay, so I'm going to start making this uh, amazing fresh fish. Oh, so beautiful, wow. Yes, I'm going to make you one of the amazing, beautiful fish made by Mr. Ali. Thank you. So, 
here it's in a butter okay I mix it with the butter let me do what a couple of times butter. so yeah there you go Now is our fish inside the deep oil. Seriously, the smell, aroma of the fish, so nice, so good. Uh, Look at this one. Now, wow. This is quite thick, so I think it's... Uh, uh, it's like around yeah, two yeah. kilos. Yeah, it's yeah. the largest uh, fish and chips I have ever tried. It's still cooking. It takes just almost five minutes until now. I think it's maybe five more minutes. And then we can have uh, the best uh, and the largest uh, fish and chips in the batter coat with the chef Ali. He's, he's uh, one of the best chefs. Thank you. Wow, the color is amazing. I love it. Wow, golden color. Absolutely amazing. So crunchy. Now we need just a few, now we need just the chips and then everything will be ready. This chips all fresh, seriously cooked, so good, color amazing. Everyone said this is a traditional way to eat uh, English fish and chips. This is so popular and they call it scraps. If you have an uh, English traditional fish and chips, you must have uh, this. And then now it's time for the salt and vinegar. Okay, we got uh, our fish. Look at this one. Seriously amazing fish and chips, traditional English fish and chips. We watched Ali how he prepared this amazing fish and chips. It was large and it was a little bit thick and it took a little bit more time to cook it, but he really cooked very well. Look at this one top is a nice, soft, crunchy. Wow, a little bit oily, but this is the natural. And then in here we have a mash and peas. The color is so good, so fresh, nice. And then we have a pickled eggs, boiled eggs, and then a pickled onion. And then we have a gravy. Look at this one. Nice homemade gravy. If this video is a value for you, please just give us thumbs up and then just click the subscribe button and Look at this one. This is the fish and chips you most eat. Wow. White color. Look at this one. I love it. Let's go just to this one. Mm. Super crunchy, a little bit oily, but fish is amazing. Soft, so delicious. Mm. The butter is amazing. You can see. So crunchy, but cooked perfect. The golden color, English traditional fish and chips. Mm. Look at this nice fillet. And uh, I go just to this one. Very hot. It's uh, too hot. We can use just this fork and bring it up. Look at this one. Cod is one of the, my favorite fish. Mm. It's cooked perfect. Fish is uh, meaty, juicy, and uh, now we have to eat with this uh, gravy. We can put top of this fish. Let's give it more flavor and take it with this fork. Wow, I love it. Mm. Wow, gravy sauce is so tasty. A little bit salty, but really tasty. And this is scraps. When you put fish inside the oil, this is comes off. And then it's so traditional in North England to eat this one. Mm. Wow, vinegary and a little bit salty, but amazing. So good. Mm. And now we are coming to the mash and peas. We try with the chips. Look at this one. Mash and peas, really good. 
just go with this one the steam comes out so fresh mm. wow i love it soft amazing today we came here to try a nice and delicious fish and chips ali he cooked the perfect this fish and everything is a top level now we have a eggs it's my first time to try the pickled eggs and it's a traditional way you can eat in english fish and chips it's just a hard boiled egg and the pickled inside the vinegar and water mm. wow vinegary soft mm. It's so vinegary and eggy and nice to have with this um, fish and chips. When you had um, pickled um, eggs, then you needed some chips because it was so vinegary. Mm. Now we have a um, pickled onion. We just dip it inside uh, this gravy. Look at this one. Again, seriously, it's my first time to try a pickled uh, Pickled onion with the gravy sauce. Mm. So vinegary, crunchy. Wow, it's first time to try in this one. If you want to try the pickled onion, try with this uh, uh, mash and peas because mash and pea will be help you to bring down a little bit the taste of the vinegar i want to show you guys this cod was so thick ali cooked perfect look at this one seriously amazing wow look at this one nice meaty white it's cooked perfect look at this fish wow mm. today i have the gravy sauce with my fish and chips and uh, some people said the curry is a good option to try with the fish and chips. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer.